Oh, you're looking at a 1997 Ford Super Duty truck and um, bucket truck and cab. If you hear my daughter in the background, she's working with me today, so you'll see her in some of these pictures. Anyway, it's a Power Stroke diesel, and uh, it has 190,000 miles on it, but it runs really well. Um, has a five-speed manual transmission. Uh, we just used it uh, at my house to uh, cut down a very large tree, and uh, it did a great job. And it starts right up. Got two new batteries in it. See all the gauges are good. 189 it has on it. Overall height, nine feet the way it is now with the bucket lowered. It has a, a PTO which raises and lowers the bucket. The body is in good shape. It has a um, couple doors. A couple of the doors are locked and a couple of them open. Um, let's see here. That opens. A couple bins. This was previously a Comcast truck for cable. It has some cable accessories. Tires are all in good shape, all the way around, all six. And again, the bucket works great. We'll try it out real quick. Now, one thing we did do, the controls on the top of the bucket need a new couple buttons, and we did that. Um, all the lines are good, no, um, no leaks or anything. Can run it from the bottom station right here. See here, extend it out a little. Are up. Of course, we want to stay away from these power lines, but we're plenty far away. And turn it around. All the way up. It's really up there. Give you a quick shot. And stay there, Savannah. Now the bucket equals out when you have weight in it. It has a shock absorber, but uh, I'm not able to measure the height of that. But it's pretty high. Bring it back down. Okay, look out, Savannah. Let me sit there. Operates effortlessly. I was uh, running it when my wife was in the bucket doing the sawing, cut down our tree because I wanted to run the controls. But that worked out fine. See here it's coming in. down on this rest. So if you have an electrical company, you want to put up Christmas lights, 
You want to cut down your own trees, shrink wrapping, I'm going to do the taller boats. A lot of different things. I had this in my driveway one night. Had several neighbors calling me, hey, what is that thing? Can we use it for this or that? There's many uses. Come on, Savannah, down. Yes, okay. Okay, get inside. Go. Looks like we spilled out some dirt from the bucket when it was up above us. Anyway. Right in the window. I'm dirty, Dad. Okay, alright. I need water. We'll go for a quick ride and then we'll be home. I Say, need this is a good truck. This is a good truck. Okay. Now, it does have, I turn it, remember to turn that PTO off. It has a grind going into second gear. The clutch and the transmission feel fine, but it does have a grind. You can hear that going in the second. If you double clutch it, it doesn't grind. But if you don't double clutch it, it grinds. Actually, it's geared a little low. They really can start off in second gear without a problem. I'm sure it's got a lot of life just like it is without touching it. And I'll give you a double clutch here. See, it goes, it goes in like that. Here the turbo. No warning lights on. Gauges are good. Go through all five gears here. It goes up to highway speeds, no problem. If you're looking for a bucket truck, work truck, oh, it's got cold air too, runs nice and cold. Uh, anyway, you're looking for a bucket truck that works well. You don't need to run a separate generator to run it. Runs off the PTO. Everything works fine. And buy this bucket truck from us. Help me with this girl's tuition. <laughs> really buy this bucket truck from us and um, I think you'll get a good one. Good luck to you and uh, buy this truck.